Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over how to determine if two lines are parallel, perpendicular or neither. Before we take a look at the examples, we're going to take a look at the rules for determining if two lines are parallel and perpendicular. Okay, so let's write down the following rules for parallel and perpendicular lines. Alright, we're going to start off by taking a look at the rule for determining if two lines are parallel. So the rule is as follows. So rule one is for parallel lines. If two lines let's call them L1 and L2 with slopes M1 for the first line and M2. So if these two lines L1 and L2 with slopes M1 and M2 are parallel then what? If they are parallel then their slopes Uh, will be equal. So basically M1 is going to be um, equal to M2 if L1 is parallel to L2. Alright, now how about perpendicularity? What, what's the rule to determine if two lines are perpendicular? Alright, let's write down the rule. If two lines L1 and and L2 with slopes M1 and M2 if these two lines are perpendicular then what? then the, s the slope of one is the negative reciprocal of the other. Okay, that's one test. Or you can say the product of their slopes is negative one. Or the product or the product of their slopes is negative one. Okay? So basically you have M1 is equal to the negative reciprocal of M2 or M1 times M2 is equal to negative one if you have L1 being perpendicular to L2. Okay? So these are the rules for determining if two lines are parallel or perpendicular. If you notice, our determination is dependent on the slopes. Okay? Now, uh, what if you're given two points that define a line? How do you find the slope? Let's review that real quick. Formula for slope. So what is the formula for the slope of a line that's going through two points. Formula for the slope of a line going through two points x1 and x2 is given by the rise y2 minus y1 over the run x2 minus x1. Okay? So we're going to be using a combination of the slope formula and the rules um, to 
determine if two lines with a given pair of points are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. All right, let's go ahead and write down the um, <clears throat> instructions for the examples that we're going to do. We have to determine if the pair of lines through the given points we're going to determine if the, the, the pair of lines are parallel perpendicular or neither parallel nor perpendicular okay or neither alright let's take a look at the first example what if we have um, <coughs> so L1 uh, let's see so for problem 1 line 1 goes through negative 1 negative 4 and negative 2 negative 7 and then the second line L2 goes through 0 negative 1 and 3 negative 2 so the lines L1 and L2 are they parallel perpendicular or neither so we're going to start by taking a look at uh, determining what the slopes of uh, both lines are so let's start by looking at or let's rewrite that formula to guide our problem solving process so the formula for computing the slope we know what it is is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so we're gonna start by calculating the slope of uh, the first line okay so slope of L1 so to calculate the slope of L1 we just simply need the uh, two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 and we are good to go okay so for L1 the points that we are given are negative 1 negative 4 and negative 2 negative 7 so what does that help us determine it tells us that x1 is the x coordinate of the first point y1 the y coordinate of the first point um, x2 x coordinate of the second y2 y coordinate of the second okay so our slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we're going to plug in these values into our slope formula so we're going to have y2 minus y1 so y2 negative 7 minus y1 negative 4 divided by x2 negative 2 minus x1 negative 1 now one thing you want to keep in mind is whenever you're substituting in um, negative numbers with an operation in front of it you want to make use of parentheses so you don't make mistakes okay alright so let's resolve the signs first before we combine the numbers negative 7 minus times minus is plus plus 4 over uh, negative 2 minus times minus is plus again plus 1 now we can combine the numbers we have so this is m1 m1 is going to be negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3 negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 minus over minus is plus so negative 3 over negative 1 is positive 3 and that's the slope of l1 okay all right now let's calculate the slope of uh, the second line L2 so slope of L2 so for L2 what are the points that we have again for L2 we have um, 0 negative 1 and 3 negative 2 okay so with these two points we can uh, determine what x1 y1 x2 y2 are so x1 is 0 y1 
is negative 1 from the first point, x2 is 3, and y2 is negative 2 from the second point. Now we can compute the value of m2, the slope of the second line, going through these two points by finding the ratio of y2 minus y1, the rise over the run. Okay, so we have y2, negative 2, minus y1, don't forget the parentheses, over x2 minus x1. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and simplify. We'll uh, resolve the signs first. So we have negative 2 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 0 is just 3. And then that basically tells us what m2 is. m2 is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over 3. Now, uh, L1 and L2 are the parallel, perpendicular, or neither. We can see that m2 is a negative reciprocal of m1. So that basically shows that um, the two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so m2 is equal to the negative reciprocal of m1. All right, if you do the negative, compute the negative reciprocal of m1, you get negative 1 over 3, m2. So this basically indicates that um, the two lines are perpendicular. So this implies that L1 and L2 are perpendicular. Another way you can do this, as indicated er earlier, is you can just multiply the two slopes. And if you get negative 1, that shows that they are perpendicular um, also. So M1, or you can say M1 times M2, which is equal to um, 3 times negative 1 third is equal to negative 1. That implies the same conclusion, L1 and L2 are perpendicular. So whichever proof you want to use to show perpendicularity, that's, that's sufficient, okay? <coughs> All right, let's take a look at um, question number 2. Um, let's say we have uh, L1. L1 is 1, 5. So basically the first line goes through 1, 5 and negative 1, 1. And then L2 goes through 2, 2 and 3, 4. Okay. Let's go ahead and find their slopes. The formula again for slope is y2 minus y1 rise over run x2 minus x1. Let's start off by finding the slope of the first line L1. Okay. So let's rewrite the points for L1. L1 is 1, 5 and negative 1, 1. So we're going to apply the formula here. So the slope of line 1, m1, is rise over run. So we have, um, let's go ahead and specify what uh, x1, y1, and x2, y2 are, so we can know what we're plugging into the equation. So we know x1 is 1, y1 is 5 from the first point, x2 is negative 1 and y2 is 1 from the second point. So y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. If you divide it out, you get the slope value of 2. Positive 2 because minus over minus is um, positive. All right, so we have the slope of L1. Now, let's go ahead and find the slope of L2 and see how they compare. Okay. Um, slope of L2. 
Okay, let's look at the coordinates again. So for L2, we have 2, 2, and 3, 4. So x1 is 2, y1 is 2 from the first point, x2 is 3, and y2 is 4 from the second point. Now let's go ahead and find the slope of the second line using the slope formula. So we have y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, and then the slope of a second line is 2. Alright, so what do we know about line 1 and line 2? Their slopes are the same. Since their slopes are the same, that tells us that um, the two lines are parallel. Okay? So since m1 is equal to 2, which is equal to m2, um, the two lines have the same slope. So they are, what does that mean? So they are parallel. So they are parallel to one another. All right, so that's an example illustrating the situation where you have two lines that are parallel to one another because they have the same slope. All right, let's consider one um, more example, problem number three. Let's say we have L1 is negative one, negative two, and L2, L1 is negative one, negative two, and one, four, and then L2 is a line that goes through two, negative one, and six, one. Okay, now let's go ahead and see if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Let's look for the slope of L1. So for L1, we know that x1 is negative 1, y1 is negative 2, x2 is 1, and y2 is 4. So the slope of L1, M1, is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have y2, 4 minus y1, negative 2, divided by x2, 1 minus x1, negative 1. So minus times minus is a plus, so we have 4 plus 2, divided by minus times minus is a plus, 1 plus 2. So we're going to have a slope of 6 over 3. 6 over 3 is equal to 2. Okay. Now let's go ahead and find the slope of um, the second line. Alright, so slope of um, L2 Let's list what x1, y1 are. x1 is 2, y1 is negative 1, x2 is 6, and y2 is 1. All right, let's go ahead and find the slope. We know what the slope formula is, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 1 minus y1, negative 1, over um, x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is 2. All right, and if we simplify it, minus times minus is a plus, so we have 1 plus 1 over 6 minus 2 is 4. And then we have uh, m2 is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 over 4. 
and then we can reduce this, divide top and bottom by 2, you end up with 1 over 2. Okay? Now, um, what's the conclusion? L1 and L2, are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? We can see that they are not parallel because they're not the same, and they're not perpendicular because the negative reciprocal of 2 is negative 1 half, and this is positive 1 half. Okay? So, since the slope of line 1 is not equal to the slope of line 2, and the slope of line 1 is not equal to, so not equal, sorry, is not equal to the negative reciprocal of the slope of line 2, the two lines are neither um, parallel nor perpendicular. Okay, so that's that. Alright, so how well did you understand the contents of this presentation? Now to demonstrate mastery, we would like you to try out um, the following problems. Just copy down the problems, try them out, and then pause the video while working on it. When you're done, we'll display the answers, okay? So go ahead and try out these problems. Instructions are the same here to um, determine if the slope of the line through the pair of through the given pair of points are parallel perpendicular or or neither okay so let's have you try out the following problem one what if we have L1 is 1 2 L1 goes through 1 2 and 3 1 and then L2 goes through 0, negative 1, and 2, 0. And then for number 2, L1 goes through 0, 3, and 3, 1. And L2 goes through negative 1, 4 and negative 7, negative 5 number 3 what if L1 goes through 2, negative 1 and 5, negative 7 and then L2 goes through 0, 0, and negative 1, 2. And then number 4, what if L1 goes through 1, 4, and 3, 4, and then L2 goes through through 2, negative 3, and 6, negative 3. Alright, go ahead and pause the video at this time. Try out these four problems. We're going to be displaying the answer momentarily. Alright, so hopefully you had a chance to try out the problems. Um, the answers are as follows. So number 1 is neither parallel nor perpendicular. Number two is perpendicular. Number three is parallel. And number four is parallel. Okay, in the case of uh, number four, you have two horizontal lines, basically 
lines with um, zero slope. That's why you have um, two parallel lines because all horizontal lines are um, parallel. Okay. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of lines in a plane, calculating slope and comparing if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any questions or comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other presentations such as this. More clips and support resources can be found on mathgodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.